Hi, Shana. What? 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 I just, I was saying hi because I just walked in, so what do you mean what? Oh, my God. I never noticed how annoying you are. I can't even understand what you're saying. Oh, I have a speech impediment, Tina. Well, fix it. How you doing, Tina? You seem a little logy. Well, you seem a little shut your face. Tina! Where the hell have you been? Did you fall on something shiny on your lips? Mm. Strawberry. I got detention. Detention? Detention! Detention! Really? I can't believe this. Detention is no big deal, Mom. Don't have a crap attack. What did you just say? A crap attack? Don't have one? <gasps> Don't you tell me not to have a crap attack. I'll have a crap attack anytime I want. Now go to your room. This is such a snorgasm. You're the baddest girl in detention, Tina. Tell me about it, stud. <laughs> I'm a stud. I'm an idiot. I know, Zeke. Don't talk anymore. We need to go over some ground rules for tonight, Miss Mouthy. No boys, no parties, no summoning spirits or switching bodies, and no filling the house with soap bubbles. You hear me, Tina? Yes, I wear glasses, not hearing aids, Mom. <gasps> Tina's wearing the same bracelet as you, Tammy. Tina, you need to take that off right now. Sparkle jelly bracelets are my thing since yesterday when I bought it. Yeah. Tammy, I understand you're disappointed. I'm a little disappointed, too. Before I saw it on you, I thought this bracelet was classy. Well, who would want to hire you, anyway? People who like the smell your mouth makes when words come out? No, more like people who like people whose hair is all the same color. <gasps> oh, no, girl, stop fighting! Keep going! Keep going! People will hire me to be a babysitter, Tammy, because I'm nurturing and kind. Things you wouldn't really understand. I understand that you're being a boob pube. Or how about an analogy? See, I'm a good person, and you're horrible. <laughs> Tammy, what are you doing? I'm going to get neighborhood babysitting jobs to pay for my hair dye needs, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ugh, you're as dark as your dark, dirty roots. If you ever gossip about me to Jimmy Jr. outside of a conflict resolution skit, I'll punch you in the face. It was just a skit, Tina. I will punch you again and 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 again. Tonight... With your help, we raised over $100. It was 110. I warned you, skank! Whoa, 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 girls, please. It's not time for the skit. This isn't a skit. This is real life. See you soon, baboon. Wait, spice it up. See you soon, bitch. Too spicy, too spicy. Oh, God, I sent it. OK, it's fine. Pesto stole our commercial. We're sunk. He beat us again. Who's us? The family you turned your back on? Yeah, now you know how we feel, Bob. The betrayer is betrayed. Karma's a bitch, and then you die. I'm gonna go settle up with Pesto. God, I can't get this apron off. Stop, you're like a mental patient in a straitjacket. Tina, untie the back. Karma's a bitch. Psst. Your ass is grass, and I'm gonna mow it. Leave me alone. Stupid book. I'm sick of acting like a dumb, helpless girl just so a hot boy who dances his feelings will notice me. That's not who I am. I'm a smart, strong, sensual woman. Oh, God. You know what, Tina? Strong girls are hot. Put it on a t-shirt, Jimmy Jr. I don't want to hear it. Hey, Jimmy Jr., I was thinking it could be cool if we ran the mile together this year. <laughs> wait, 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 you run with me? Uh, yeah, doesn't that sound kind of fun? <laughs> Sorry, Tina, but uh, have you seen how fast I run? I, I guess. Um, I, I just thought it, it, it could be a nice way to spend well, time. Well, I mean, I'm going to try and break nine minutes, so... I can just try to run with you? Maybe we could hang out after the mile when you finish, and I've already been doing something else for, like, two or three minutes. Okay, you know what, Jimmy Jr.? I'm not going to run with you. Yeah, I know, Tina. I'm going gonna beat you. <laughs> That's crazy. You better start training, Jimmy Jr. Because Mama's coming for you. I'm Mama in this scenario. All right, we're doing this. Tina, are you in? You want ice cream? No ice cream for me. I'm just gonna have a double scoop of beating Jimmy Jr.'s ass into the ass ball. Good morning, Wagstaffians. In a minute, oh, crap, I forgot my hard hat. Why do you need a hard hat? Because I'm going to demolish you. Just give up now, Tina. Wow, I actually feel kind of bad for him. Maybe I should let him win. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm going to take him. Ha! You're only in front of me because I let you be. Okay, I can feel like I'll stop talking. No shame in taking a break to walk, Tina. Why don't you come up here and tell me that slow stuff? I don't want to. Tina, think you can handle this? I don't think you can handle how much I can handle this, Mr. Frond. Let's go, Zeke. Uh, I'll take it from here, Rudy. You finish your rounds. Are you sure? Zeke's trouble. It's a midday run. I could do it in my sleep. Yeah, but I want to help. I've never transported a perp. Yeah, we're good, Rudy. Oh. Oh, wow. Tina's giving Rudy some tootie. 
Where's Zeke, Jimmy Jr.? Whoa. I told your sister, Tina. I don't know. That's not good enough. <laughs> oh, Tina, this tray is gross. Too bad you chose Chowder Day to lie to me. It's Chowder Day? Okay, I don't know for sure, but there's a place we go sometimes. He calls it his hidey hole. Where is it? Stop it, Tina. <laughs> The storage room over by the science lab. Now take off your socks! Yeah, take off your socks. Okay! Oh, wait, um, don't take off your socks. Put them back on, sorry. Yeah, it wouldn't make much sense. Wait, so put them back on? Or put them on? back on! Okay! Faster, faster! It's not going on! Put them on, now! They're all sweaty! <laughs>